Hello, everybody. So, if you are a student helper, can you make sure you put SH in front of your name? And for those who are students, you can leave the Zoom and then come back in 15 minutes. Thank you. Michael, teacher Michael, oh, over to you. I have a question, please. Yes, we. So you mean you put the SS thing into a name or anywhere? In front of the name, if you're a student helper. Like, you know, if you've been like, uh, what I call in Vietnamese, like Yao Bing Yi, you're responsible to help students. So if you are, then stay. If you are not, can you leave the Zoom and come back in 15 minutes at 10 o'clock sharp? I already have a SH in the first. <laughs> yeah, good. Thank you. Thanks. Right, over to you, Teacher Michael. Thank you, Miss Dook. Hello, everybody. Um, so I'll be taking over these uh, workshops for the remaining four sessions. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to uh, just let you guys know what we'd be talking about today in the actual workshop. And today is session three. Uh, the roles of a debate. We're going to be focusing on the speakers today. So there is a chance that <clears throat> the workshop might actually run a little bit less than an hour, uh, but I'll try to uh, pace it out a little bit. Uh, but if it does end uh, before the hour is up, then um yeah we'll just extend the time of the extend the time of the uh, the breakout rooms i'll try to uh pace it out a little bit uh but if it does end uh before the hour is up then um yeah we'll just extend the time of the extend the time of the of the breakout rooms Wow, I do not know whose um, who's speakers I'm hearing reverb from, but that is quite a long that it, that 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 is quite a long delay. Um, so yeah, just um, just up to this point now, can I just have somebody fill me in on the sorts of things that. Uh, you guys have been doing in the breakout rooms with the teams. I, I understand the basics of it that you've been uh, that you've been helping and preparing the the new debaters to get ready for the tournament. Um, but yeah, up to now, what sort of things have you been doing to do that? Anyone? Uh, I remember that you did something about like um, how to share with the students about our um, some some of our like what like some of our experience something like that experience and something like that. Terrific. So yeah, you guys have been sharing your your debating experiences. Um. What about for sessions? Uh, what, what about for session two last week? Did you do the same thing or did you change it up a little bit because of the different topic of um, the workshop? We, we, we discussed about uh, last week. I remember that we discussed about something like uh, about first speaker, second speaker, and first speaker roles and, and reply speakers. We divided into rooms and talk about what we should do or what things we have to do in that thing and share the experience of everyone and stuff like that. Oh, terrific. So you so you basically spoke to them about the topic of today's workshop. Oh, terrific. Oh. No, that that's good. Uh, so the students will have some idea of 
uh, yeah, this, the students will have some idea of uh, what I'm talking about today then, that'll be good. Um, so then in today's, uh, in today's breakout room session, uh, if we wanna just continue in that vein of uh, preparing them for the next week's topic, um, <clears throat> if I could get you guys to divide, uh, if I could get you guys to divide the time in the breakout rooms today, uh, if you could just expand a little bit more on the material that I talk about, so the roles of all the speakers and the responsibilities that they all have, uh, if I could get you to expand on that a little bit. And then also the topic for next week's workshop will be constructing arguments using teal paragraphs, or some of you might know it as peel paragraphs. Uh, so if you could just cover those two topics in the breakout rooms today, that would be really good. Uh, just to, yeah, in, in just to kind of introduce how we ideally want to structure our arguments. Uh, that'd be great. Um, so can you summarize it a little bit? So yeah. in course from us to do. Yeah, sure. I'll um I'll put it in a message uh in the chat box. So I I apologize. I I'm not very good at uh speaking and typing at the same time. So I'll type it out and then I'll keep talking after that. So I've just sent that message. Can you send it to everyone, Mr. Michael? Uh, yes, sorry, I thought I did. Let me try that again. That's better. So yeah, the, 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 two, top, uh, the two topics to go over in the breakout room session today um, do you, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you guys know about the teal or the, the, the peel paragraphs already, or would you like me to write a brief explanation of that for you? I think we know it. Excellent. Um, so yeah, um, I mean, my preferred, uh, name for them is I prefer teal with a T over peel with a P but whichever one you call it, that's totally fine because uh, it's still the same thing anyway. Uh, but yeah, so basically just uh, when you start explaining the, the teal paragraph to them, just make sure that you just spend a little bit of time not just explaining what each point or what each part is, uh, but explain the reasons how and the reasons why uh, the teal paragraph is such an effective writing structure to deliver arguments. So obviously uh, talk to them about how um, the topic should be brief. It's your main idea. Uh, your explanation is uh, just another couple of sentences that go into more detail. 
uh, on the topic. Uh, obviously explain to them that the evidence is supporting information that you've gathered. Um, can you please put a big emphasis on the fact that the students need to quote or they need to cite their sources or their evidence? Um, because in my experience with uh, teaching kids to debate, uh, they 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 never quoted their information or they never they never cited the source of their evidence. So please may uh, please uh, express how important that is uh, to give credit where credit's due. Not only because it's academically uh, that's what I'm looking for. No, or not not only because it's it's uh, academically honest but as well citing those sources can make that evidence even stronger uh, if they think that uh, the audience or the judges will know will know the source so they can say oh yeah they've they've quoted this article from this this person yep that's good um and of course, uh, the, the linking sentence, just make sure that they understand that the linking sentence is so important because it's going to, um, it's, it's gonna help them keep their arguments more, uh, more simple in, their, in the judges' minds. Because obviously we know there's a lot of information, a lot of arguments and a lot of evidence being discussed in a debate. So any chance to signpost and obviously uh, have this, this one sentence that is as simple as possible, just to keep it fresher in the judge's mind so they don't get lost. And so it's easier for them to recall these things. So yeah, really that's all, uh, that, that's all that we need to do today in the breakout sessions again is just, uh, yeah, just expand on the information that we talk about today and then introduce them to the idea of the teal or the peel paragraphs. Are there any questions? No. Terrific. I just noticed, Victoria, your display picture is an actual turtle burger. Love your work. Um, okay, sweet. Yeah, so we are, we're ready to begin. Okay, so I let the participant join, okay? No worries. <laughs> 